Hey guys, this is Tasha from Start a School Crochet. This week's uh, Saturday Stitch Explorer tutorial is called the Paddle Stitch. Here it is. I've done a few rows here to show you. It's a great stitch. It has loops in there. It's really nice. And I didn't have to modify this one too much. So let's get started. I'm using a three weight yarn and a four millimeter hook. Okay guys, so our stitch works in multiples of eight and then you add two and four for the foundation chain. Also, I hurt my hand last week. That's why I didn't do my Stitch Explorer tutorial. So, sorry about that, guys. I had a fight with my mop. My mop bucket, I should say. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna do 16. It's so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I have 16 here. Then hold on to that last chain, and then work two more and four more. That's for your foundation. So here we're going to work into the seventh chain, which is the one I'm holding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We work one double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet into the same chain. Chain two, sorry. Double crochet, chain two and double crochet. Then we're going to skip three chains and work a dou two double crochets, a chain one, and two double crochets into the same chain. So there we have two doubles, a chain, and two doubles. Skip three. You repeat this until you reach the end. You're going to double crochet, chain two, and double crochet into the same space. And then when you have seven chains left on your hook, it works a little different. One, two, three, five, six, seven. So we're going to skip the three, work two doubles and a chain, one, just like we did before, two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. And then when we're at the end, we're just going to skip two chains and work one double crochet into this last chain. And then for, that's your row one. For row two, you chain three, turn it, and you're gonna work into the chain spaces of each of the ones that we did before, the little clusters. So you're gonna skip one, two, three double crochets. And in this first one, we're gonna work the first part of our repeat, which is a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Then when you go into this one, you're gonna work the two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Oops. And we're gonna work into the center of each like that. And you work into the last one, the two doubles. Basically, you're working opposite of what you're working into. So on the ones with uh, the double crochet down below, that one. So every time you reach one of these clusters like this, it's a two double crochets. The one above it's going to be the single double crochets. So that might keep make it easier because I messed up a few times doing mine. When you come to the end here, you're going to work a double crochet into the chain one or the top of the chain. You can work through one or two loops. It's up to you. So you're going to repeat this row two until you reach your desired height. 
So it's really easy and it works up really fast. So you're going to skip these three, double crochet one, chain two, double crochet one, skip on over to the center, chain space, work two double crochet, one chain, and two double crochet. Super easy guys. And I love this stitch. I think it's my new favorite stitch. It does work up super fast. Oops. Once you get a rhythm going with it. And then again, when you come to the chain three on the end, you just work a double crochet into the chain. And I'm sure if you wanted to, you could probably work around the chain. Either way would be good, but that's it. So you keep working this row two until you reach your desired height. All right, guys, subscribe, hit the little bell. Let me know what you think about this stitch. And if you do create anything with it, just hashtag paddle stitch so I can see it. Happy crocheting.